So this video is going to be about how to get your drawing onto the piece of wood through the laser engraver. So remember we want to export our file as a PDF. So go to File, Export to PDF. Give it a name and hit Save. Remember it should be a PDF file. So there is what we have and first step we're going to do is we're going to open up Inkscape. So you might be on the desktop or you may have to go to the start menu and type in Inkscape and what Inkscape is is a graphics program where you can draw and add things um, but it also has some other neat features like making vector files so I'm going to open and this step is important you want to import the text as text so just hit OK what that's going to do on our drawing is it's going to actually separate out the text from the lines that we have from our drawing. So you can see here I can bring it over and I can actually separate the two. We don't need those so I'm going to delete them because this right here is all that I want to engrave. In Inkscape you can have a bunch of tools to add things. So right here I'm adding text so I'm adding my name to it. Remember this is the bottom part. So I'm going to use the arrow, click it a couple times, so I get these, I can bring it around, because remember this part's going to be flipped around. Uh, if I want to add things to the top part, um, so let's add a image to the top. So let's get an image from the internet. And we just go to Google. Go to Google Image. Uh, this one looks like it'll work well. And we can just, you can either save it or you can just copy it. And then here, right click, paste. So we're going to resize it to fit. If I hold down Control while I resize it, it keeps my dimensions. Now the problem with this picture right here is it has all the colors. Our image is black and white on the laser. Also if you zoom in you see all the pixels. That means that this is a raster drawing and not a vector. So what we need to do is click it, go up to path, trace bitmap, we want to make it a vector. Now just the default setting is it's going to look like that. It's okay but I want a little bit more of my detail in there so I'm going to delete that, undo, and try it again. Um, so I see I have three different colors on this. I have the white, the red, and the blue so let's change that to colors. And So now you can see it made that new vector file right on top. I can separate the two out. So if I zoom in on this one I see all the pixels again. That lets me know it's a raster. If I zoom in on here I get these nice straight lines. So that is a vector file and that is what we need for the laser engraver. So let's put that there. So that looks good. So let's save that in case we ever need to go back to it. And Inkscape saves as an SVG file. So, so to leave that, hit save. So now I can open this if I need to edit it. Now the next step you have to do on the computer that's in the lab. I go to print to XPS document writer and hit print. You may hit the button and nothing may happen because you go down to the bottom and there it is right there so click on that. Now I want to give this a name that I'll be able to find later on and save it as that XPS file. Now I can go to the laser engraver. The program is the Retina Engrave. It should be on the desktop or type in Retina and this is Retina Engrave program. The very first time you open it, it's going to ask you what type of laser you have. So if you look at all these, look at the one we have on the desk right there. It's this one right here, the Generation 5 Hobby. Make sure you're connected to the laser down there and then you want to open that file or project. File, open, file, and find the one you just did. 
Now our image is very large on that XPS file, so it's going to say, hey, do you want to actually do that whole thing, or do you just want their vector? So hit no, you just want vectors. So you see the raster is blank, open up the vector, and there are our lines that are going to be engraved. Now if you look at this, this is 10 inches tall and 3 inches wide. We want to rotate it so it will actually fit on our laser, so you can hit this rotate button. And so by now you should put in the piece of wood into the laser and line it up. Just to double check that you are actually lined up, you can hit this little button right here. Just hit yes. And what that's going to do is the laser itself will move to the four corners of your image. So you can reposition it as necessary with the arrow keys. Then when you're ready to go, hit the play button. So now it'll start engraving. You can see in the bottom right corner, it'll take about a minute and a half. And if you look at the little red dot on the screen, that's where our laser is. So you give it a minute and a half, and you'll be done. And there is your engraved phone stand.